Right guys, as per my video yesterday, this is the, well, one of the gates I made yesterday and this is the one I'm going to be fitting today. Uh, it's only four foot high, so this is the design I opted for. I mean, normally I'll put a centre brace in, but this will do, you know, it's only four foot high. Very lightweight gate. So again, it's four by two timber and tongue and groove match board on the front. And we'll get that fitted. This is going in between two walls, which I'll show you when I'm on site. Right, so here's where we're fitting the gate. This is a new wall being built, so we just put the gate in here. So going to put a 4x2 down there, a 4x2 down here, and hang the gate. Right, so I'm going to fit this 4x2 up here, and then another one on the opposite side here. Down here. If you want to see how to do that, um, I actually made a video about how to fix these. I'll put a link there at the moment. So I won't go into great detail when I'm doing this. You can watch that video there, and that'll, that'll show you how to do this. So I'm just going to drill the holes now for the bolts and um, we'll get this fitted. Right so I've recessed the holes now so we can see we've recessed them 10 mil down and then drill that 10 mil hole through the centre. So we've done that on both posts and equal points. So now we can get the first one fitted onto the wall, levelled off and screwed onto the wall. Uh, sorry firstly I'm going to treat this with uh, clear, clear treatment because we've exposed bare wood here. So we'll slap some clear preservative on and then get these fitted. Okay, so we've got the first bolt in there. I usually just put one in at the top and get it level. Which hopefully it is. I just need to adjust that a little bit. So once I get that level, I'll then tighten this bolt. And then I'll drill the, these other holes with the SDS drill. I'm using 8mm uh, by 100mm multi-fix bolts for this. As in my video that uh, I linked to earlier. So three of those, top, middle and bottom. So we'll drill them, get them in now and then I'll stand back and give you a view of what we've done. Okay, that's the first post in. So we've got three fix-ins. One, two, three. This is level, the wall's not actually level. Um, so it does look a bit squint, but... I mean, I could put it in the same plane as a wall, but I just, I'll put it level, see how it works. So that's that one in. What I'll do is hang the gate now and then I can just get the best area for this post um, and then we'll take it for there. Right, so I've got the gate roughly in position. Obviously I need a, I'm, I'm looking for about a 10 mil gap at the bottom here uh, for clearance. So this hinge needs to move up. Now what I use for this is wind bag air wedges. So basically it's a cushion, an air cushion. I've slipped it under the gate and you can operate this puffer with either your foot I'll do it with my foot actually. So just place my foot on there and just pump it gently and you'll watch. I'll pump that and you can watch the hinge go up. So that's me just pumping my foot. Oh, it's a gate moving up. See how it's moving up in increments? Now if I want that down a bit, all I do is a small release button here. I press that button there gently, it just lets air out a little bit at a time and then that'll lower the gate. Um, I don't have my tripod, so it's difficult. I'm trying to do this with three pairs of hands, um, but what I'll do, I'll press that button and then I'll show you, it'll lower that hinge slightly until I've got a 10mm gap at the bottom. I don't know if that's showing up. You can see the bag there and see the gap under the gate. It's a little bit high, so it needs to come down a little bit. Um, so, yeah, that's that. I'm just going to temporarily fix the hinges with one screw at each side so we can get this post in at the other side, you know, perfectly lined up. So that's the product I was talking about. This is the wind bag. I think they're about 12 quid each or whatever, but they're really, really good. I mean, you can use them for windows, doors, just anywhere we need to. Even, uh, you know, washing machines, appliances, stick them under and pump them up. You can lift so much weight with them. They're brilliant. I'll leave links in the description to these, they're well worth having. Right, a quick tip I'll give you here. Um, this is what's happened to me here. This is a new wall, so this is obviously breeze blocks in mind. You know, the Harlan, and it's obviously quite soft material. So what's happened here is I've put an 8mm uh, multi-fix fixing in. Tightened it carefully with the, the ratchet and it just keeps spinning. It's not tightening up anymore. So what I'm going to do... Um, I'm, I do this all the time, so I'm always prepared. I carry a stock of 10mm bolts with me as well. 
So for the 8mm I keep spinning, take it out, replace it with a 10mm, just using the same 8mm hole and that'll give you enough grip to give you, a, you know, to tighten it up. There's no sense in leaving that in there if it's just spinning and not got a grip. So always replace for a 10mm bolt like this. Right, that's me going in with a 10mm bolt now. And another tip is never use an impact driver to put these in, always use a, a ratchet. You've got far more control. So I'll just tighten this up. That's it, that's going nowhere. Right, it's a gate tempor temporarily in place. We've got the two posts in. And um, the way this has worked out, the way I measured it, I've left roughly 20 to 30 mil gap, uh, purposefully, because you want to leave a, a good 10, 15 mil gap either side of the gate, which will be covered anyway when we put the strips down the front, the, the door jams, if you like. So what I've got here, I've got this temporarily tacked to the, the timbers, tight against there. So I'll release the, hinge, the top hinge, get that gap spaced correctly. Then I'll release the bottom hinge and then move that over. Get it as square as we can and that's that's it. Then it's just a case of cutting the strips, putting the strips in, the stoppers, putting the ironmongery on the other side uh, and that should be it. Right, that's it, finished gate. So on to the next one. Cheers guys. <laughs>